Welcome to the lesson on responding to hypovolemic shock. In this video, we'll discuss the means of responding to hypovolemic shock. The primary means of responding to hypovolemic shock is to provide additional volume. For children, an isotonic crystalloid such as normal saline or lactated ringers is the preferred fluid for volume resuscitation. While volume repletion is somewhat straightforward in adults, great care must be taken when administering intravenous fluids to children and infants. Careful estimates should be made concerning the amount of volume lost, for example, blood loss, the size of the individual, and the degree of deficit. Current recommendations are to administer 20 milliliters per kilogram of fluid as a bolus over 5 to 10 minutes and repeat as needed. In hypovolemic shock, administer 3 milliliters of fluid for every 1 milliliter of estimated blood lost. That is a 3 to 1 ratio. If fluid boluses do not improve the signs of hypovolemic shock, consider administration of packed red blood cells without delay. Albumin can also be considered for additional intravenous volume for shock, trauma, and burns as a plasma expander. If fluid boluses do not improve the signs of hypovolemic shock, re-evaluation of proper diagnosis and occult blood loss, for example, into the GI tract, should be considered. The remaining interventions are aimed at restoring electrolyte imbalances, for example, acid or base, glucose, and more. This concludes our lesson on responding to hypovolemic shock. Next, we'll review responding to distributive shock.